I noticed online, in multiple places online, that there are gay black men saying that homophobia and anti-gay violence exists in the American black community because of black women. And that black women have a responsibility to fight the homophobia and the anti-gay violence. But then there are also straight men saying that black women are the ones promoting homosexuality amongst men and that women are responsible for maintaining the homosexual culture or community. So basically, straight, meaning heterosexual black women are being blamed on both sides. On one side, we're responsible for being anti-gay and encouraging homophobia in the American black community. And then on the other side, we are responsible for being pro-gay and for promoting homosexuality amongst men and amongst young boys. The thing is, women do not have the power, neither socially nor physically, to harness or to control male sexuality. So how in the world are we the ones who are promoting homosexuality and encouraging it when we don't even have that, t that type of power? And as far as these gay black men who accuse black women of being homophobic and of promoting homophobia in American black society, that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And I would say that it's a downright lie. Because as far as I can tell, black women are the only true ally that gay black men have had and continue to have. They don't have any other strong ally in U.S. society, not as far as I can tell. And gay black men really do need to be careful, okay? Because this is something that has become more common over the last couple of years on social media. And I'm talking about gay and bisexual black men accusing straight black women of, of being responsible for any homophobia that exists in black American society. So they're trying to hold straight black women accountable for homophobia and for anti-gay violence and so on and so forth when there is no proof that any of that is even true. And actually the proof shows that the exact opposite is true. That black women have been a support system to gay men to gay black men, even to gay white men to a certain extent. And if, if gay and bisexual black men are not careful, they're going to end up losing the only real ally that they have in society. Because see, straight women, regardless of what their ethnic background, their racial classification, whatever, they are not going to walk away from straight men because straight men will always have something that they want. Whereas gay men honestly do not. And I'm not just talking about physical relationships and things like that. Okay. Straight women do owe a certain amount of allegiance to straight men. Because straight men have done more for them. Even outside of physical, romantic relationships. If you're a woman and you have, you know, a husband, a boyfriend, or, you know, sons, fathers, and we all do. 
then you know that you are safer around them, around those men, than you are by yourself. Having a man around is an asset because they have a certain amount of strength that women do not have. And they have a lot of it. And being totally honest, it's not gay men who are out here fighting for women. Okay? It's not gay men who are fighting off, you know, home invaders and uh, fighting off uh, these attackers at bus stops and on buses and things like that. It's straight men doing this. Okay? So they're the ones who are out here defending women and fighting for women. Okay? Fighting for their homes, the safety of their neighborhoods. Okay? And I'm over explaining myself to make the point again that straight men will always have things that straight men, excuse me, that straight women want and need, right? So if straight women ever had to choose between the two, their allegiance is going to be to straight men, regardless. Regardless of how homophobic a gay man may think straight society is, regardless of how much homophobia you may think exists or how, you know, much you think women promote homophobia, regardless of all that, women are going to choose straight men. Straight women are going to choose straight men if it ever gets right down to it, if they ever have to make a choice. And I think that these these gay and bisexual black men who call women out, in this case, black women, who call them out and accuse them of promoting homophobia and encouraging it, they're, they're really, I think they're pushing their luck. They, they don't have as much influence over women and they don't have, you know, as strong a hold on women as they probably think they do. I think that some of these straight Excuse me, some of these gay black men think that because they have, you know, uh, several female friends or because they have a maybe a sizable group of women that they hang out with. They assume, I think, that their influence over women is much larger and much longer than it actually is. I think that they believe that because they have a few, you know, really nice straight girlfriends uh, because they hang out with maybe a number of women. I think they assume that, that all women will show them the same loyalty. And that if it ever came right down to it, women would choose them. You know, over straight men. Women would show allegiance to them and their cause over the cause of straight men. And that's, that's just not true. Women have no reason to you know, to forsake straight men, to abandon them, to, you know, to uh, to side with gay men over them. Because, like I said before, straight guys will always have things that women want. They always have. Well, they'll always have things that, you know, straight black women want or that straight women want. Okay. But just looking around on social media, over the last couple of years, it seems that that gay and bisexual black men are becoming more vocal about calling straight black women out on what they see as homophobia. And I think that, you know, regardless of how much they call it out, what they perceive as homophobia and um, regardless of how much they call on straight black women to take a stand against it it's really I don't think going to happen if it's true that straight black men have a problem with homophobia then I think that straight black women are content to just deal with it because It doesn't affect them. If it's true that 
straight black men have a problem with homophobia, okay, if it even exists at all, then I think that the women will be content to deal with that because, again, it doesn't affect them.